This love story began many, many years ago in a windowless office at Ernst Young. And in this seemingly hopeless place, Andrea and Jonathan found each other and found love. Jonathan took Andrea to this cute little bistro in Boston. And under the starlight, next to a four feet tall replica of the Eiffel Tower, outside the restaurant, Jonathan asked Andrea to be his girlfriend. Now, almost eight years after that evening in Boston, Jonathan, with the help of his friends, Jessica and Mike, surprised Andrea with a trip to Paris. And on a breezy fall afternoon, in front of the iconic 1,063 feet tall Eiffel Tower, Jonathan asked Andrea to marry him. And Andrea said yes. Hunter, when you're ready, it, it's uh, you guys. I have something for you guys. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'll start off with the 213 miles from my house to yours in Little Neck, New York. Fast forward many long four hour drives, many bus rides from Midtown Manhattan to South Station. Multiply those by four years brings us to roughly about 17,000 miles we've traveled with each other. And I would walk every single one of them just to be with you. I love my bee. <laughs> Dearest JT, after 2,864 days together, 1,461 days of long distance, and 327 days of wedding planning, <laughs> this day has finally come. Daniel, can you deliver this card to Andrea? Yeah, you can see. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Mike. But before we tell the whole world about our love today, I want to take you back to September 26, 2008. I asked you to be my girlfriend that night, and it's been 2,864 days since our love began. And I love you more at this very moment than ever before. The decision to marry should never be taken lightly. And as Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy said in a recent Supreme Court decision, no union is more profound for it embodies the highest ideals of love, fidelity, devotion, sacrifice, and family. In forming a marital union, 
two people become something greater than once they were. I knew I was in trouble at the very first glance, a hallway in ENY office. Yes, I do admit that it was definitely the curls back then that got me interested. <laughs> From that very first glance till now, you've been my best friend, my lover, my queen, my partner, my accomplice, my travel buddy, and my one true soulmate in this world. JT, I am so thankful for our love story. Me too. And for all the sacrifices that you have made for us. You're worth it. You're the person I can always lean on to take care of me. You level set me at times when things get hard, while push me to new levels that I didn't think I can go. You're my best friend, and I can't wait to grow old with you. I love you. Family comes first for this guy. The JT I know is always here for his family. He wanna, he's one of the most reliable and dependable person that I've ever met. He's the type of person that you will have a blast at fun times, but he'll definitely be at your side in the tough times. On the other hand, uh, no doubt that JT is the one for Andrea. He's definitely a very romantic guy uh, who orchestrated this whole Paris proposal. And I can still remember very clearly what JT said to Andrea. I ask you to be my girlfriend in front of the fake Eiffel Tower, and it is only right to make you my wife in front of the real Eiffel Tower. John Lennon once said, a dream you dream alone, only a dream. But a dream that you dream together is a reality. And your new reality, together, starts now. By the power vested in me, by the, by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, sorry, not state, I now pronounce you, husband and wife, you may get the bride.